Yes! Took me a day and a half, but I finally got enough peaches to buy this motherfucker. Yes, this is it. Bam! Look at that. Yes! Yes! Three days later. What's going on guys? This is the one man army, Mr. Easy for Life. Coming back at you guys once again with another Blade and Soul video today, man. Wanted to talk to you guys about the Mystic Badges. Alright, as you know, as you saw in the first clip before the intro, I, uh, I, I pretty much bought my Enigma, or whatever the fuck it, it says. Um, I, I bought my Mystic Badge, yeah. Um, I went with the badge that I said I was going for in the Shadow Destroyer build. And uh, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on this one, man. It, uh, my thoughts and opinions about this badge. As you can see, it enhances the wrath for the, us destroyers. Cooldown of fury and persistence is decreased by half a second on a successful wrath. So every time we use our left mouse button during fury, or I guess on a power slam, or I guess um, on the primal force effect, um, our fury is getting constantly uh, reduced, right? Every single left left mouse button and that's pretty good I, I actually really like that so um i kind of lucked out man I, I really yeah honestly i think i kind of lucked out with my class uh, with the badges i do remember people were saying that for some for some of the classes um their mystic badges didn't isn't necessarily that great the uh, the ones that cost the uh, the flowers the lunar twilight flowers um but for me it kind of i kind of lucked out and i got something pretty decent obviously this isn't the best badge for the for the uh the destroyer i think always i think over overall the uh the best badges uh and i think for every single class right would have to be the uh, the raven feather ones as you can see right here so if I was going, if I had the Raven Feathers to spare, um, I would obviously go for this one. I think this is also the one that Jonathan has. He's got the Raven Feathers uh, that he was able to spend and buy this one. It enhances the Wrath once again, but instead of decreasing the Fury, it decreased the cooldown of Mighty Cleave by 4 seconds. I know that Wrath actually decreases the Mighty Cleave by 2 seconds automatically, so I'm not sure if the 4 seconds on this one stacks on top of the default and it becomes 2 to 6, or if it just or if it just becomes from 2 to 4 uh, because of this badge. Probably 4, I'm not sure. If it is 6, then uh, 6 seconds, then that's that's obviously pretty OP, pretty broken. Obviously, the Earth Destroyer way is, you know, the more Mighty Cleave, the better, um, and whatnot. So, the, of course, these are two these two are the best for the both builds, but I do believe that, um, you know, uh, this one right here, the Enhance the Wrath one, is uh, it's pretty decent. This works for both builds, Shadow and and uh, Earth, it's a decent one. Like I said, it's not the best, but it's definitely decent. And it's overall just just kind of there just to give you some kind of benefit, right? Um, so that you you know spending the flowers wasn't necessarily a bad investment in this, you know. So this is this is freaking awesome. I really do like this badge. Um, obviously, uh, in the future, this is the one I'm gonna be going for. I don't have the Raven Feathers, like I said, to spare. I'm saving them for my uh, Earth Earring from uh, Black Tower or Skybreak Spire. Um, I guess a little bit of update on that since you guys have been asking me about my BT gear. I've told you guys that uh, I'm looking for some BT gear and as, as you can see I don't have any yet, right? Um, I'm actually next in line to get the Earth Earring, so the next time the Earth Earring drops, it, it will practically be mine for free or for a steal, and from there I'm going to use the Raven Feathers to take it to stage 6. So yeah guys, that's a little bit of update on the, uh, my BT hunt for them, uh, them BT gear, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And uh, yeah man, next Earring is mine. Anyway, so uh, to another point I wanted to bring up about the badge is it actually works pretty well with the Primal Force. As you can see with the Primal Force effect, I'm sure all of you Destros know that every time we smash, we get a 3 second Primal Force effect, which enables Wrath for another 3 seconds. So with more Wrath, which means this badge comes into play even more, and I'm able to reduce it. Uh, the cooldown of fury by another three seconds. So w the way I do it actually is, um, I believe that if I smash, if I fury and smash at the same time, the primal force effect just gets overlapped with the uh, the uh, the wrath that's activated from fury. So I kind of wait. I actually wait six seconds or at least five and a half seconds before uh, fury goes away before I smash, just to get that three seconds of of Wrath extra, I guess on top of the 6, which e equivalates to about 9 seconds of Wrath. So if I time this just right, I can actually get, I can actually have 9 seconds of Wrath, which also reduces the cooldown of Fury by 9 seconds. 
right? Because uh, I can, I'm able to get two hits, two wrath hits a second, which is equivalent to one second, obviously. And then I have nine seconds total, so yeah, nine second cooldown. Anyway, enough jib, enough, 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 enough fucking chatting. I want to show you what I mean by this. So uh, usually in the beginning, I start off with the uh, the Ember Stomp, then I go into a Fury, and then I wait five and a half seconds or six seconds, whatever, uh, to use the Smash to activate the Primal Force for that three second extra wrap. The reason why I actually wait to the last second, or at least five and a half seconds, is because I, I want to have a little bit time, or, or at least half a second of Fury, so that uh, Fury up, so that the the Smash actually has a 100% chance of critting, right? Because more crit, the better. So anyway, 45 seconds. Let's see how much uh, how much I can shave off uh, with this badge. So let's, let's have a look here. All right, keeping an eye on the, uh, the Fury and Smash. And three more seconds of the Primal Force. And as you can see, 30 seconds. We ended off with 30 seconds, as you saw right there. Um, I want to pause or... Or rewind the video, or if anything, I'm 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 probably gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in on the uh, the the fury buff if you didn't catch that. Uh, but basically, I was able to shave off 15 seconds, 15 seconds of fury, uh, the cooldown with this badge, right? And of course, timing it just right with the the primal force. So yeah, guys, if you are uh, those of you who are baleful users, you know you don't have the cooldown reduction like the seraph users. If you're like me and I have the baleful. With this badge, if you time it just right, and you team it up with the Primal Force, you're able to get uh, the uh, the Fury buff down 15 seconds, okay? So yeah, man, 15 seconds on the Fury. I guess I'll go ahead and show you that one more time just to show you that, uh, if, like I said, if you time it just right, it's going to be 15 seconds every time. So let's go ahead and have another one. Have another look. Keep an eye on that Fury. One second. Bam. Smash for the primal force and bam look at that did you see that 30 seconds again every time every time 30 seconds that's fucking amazing so yeah guys you don't need a seraph axe to reduce the cooldown you can just get this badge and team it up with the primal force which you should have by now of course uh, and you're able to reduce take off 15 seconds of uh, fury so that's pretty awesome a very decent decent badge obviously and like i said not the best but is it is still i would say worth the investment of those lunar twilight flowers right okay uh for those of you shadow destroyers out there i did not uh, leave you hanging man i did not leave you hanging those of you shadow destroyers unfortunately i don't have the badge yet uh, but this actually this badge actually teams up quite well with the magnum badge I'm going to go ahead and show you that, guys, which one I'm talking about. I'm sure you know. Uh, as you can see, the Eradicate. Okay, so the Magnum Soul Badge, which is enhances your Eradicate on you Shadow Destros, decreases the Fury Persistence once again by 5 seconds on each successful Eradicate, which is our right mouse button. So, it teams up perfectly because not only do you have Wrath, which is our left mouse button, uh, uh, decreasing its cooldown after fury goes away you also have your right mouse button to start decreasing the wrath as well so there you go guys those of you shadow destroyers shadow destroyers out there team this badge up with the uh, this mystic badge and uh, you do some goodness right more uh, more fury the better our fury is our best thing going for us and we want to be able to use it as much as possible so yeah like I said, I can't show you the Magnum Badge because obviously I don't have it. As you can see, I slacked off in Season 1. We're in Season 2 and I only have uh, 49 Triumph Tokens. So I need about 21 more tokens. 21 more tokens and I'll be able to test it out with this badge. Um, but uh, yeah, those of you Shadow Destroyers, make sure you team. If you have this badge, team it up with this one, obviously. And if you're an Earth, go ahead and start off with that. Uh, use that Primal Force Badge. I think there's another badge coming out, actually, next season. I think it's like a purple badge. And I think one of them increases... Uh, enhances uh, our smash so we might if the if the forums if the Google Docs that I've seen are correct we're gonna get another purple we're gonna get a purple badge and it's gonna enhance our smash so it's gonna be another badge for you uh, earth destroyers out there like myself right but that's in the future we'll see what happens after this season the blue badge season um, but uh, yeah shadow destroyers take this one earth destroyers time it just right with this uh, this primal force and it'll do you some goodness right there. So, yeah, man. Baleful Axe. Uh, yeah, Baleful Axe, 15 seconds off. Uh, obviously, if you had... Let's go ahead and check out this. 
if you had the Seraph Axe, as you can see right here, it uh, decreases Fury by another 23%. Well, I'm sorry, actually, well, if you go to stage 10, uh, it decreases Fury by another 30%. So, as you can see, if you team up the badges just right, you know, if you take these two, these two right here, and you team it up with the, uh, the stage 10 effect, right, then, you know, you could take that 30 seconds and, or no, you could take the 45 seconds, decrease it by 30%, and then you shave off another 15 seconds with these two badges right here, if you had the Seraphax. So, um, with that said, with that in mind, that wouldn't actually... I mean, for those of you who want to decrease the Fury down as much as possible, I would say, you know, team up these two right here and, uh, you know, use that uh, use that Seraph Axe. You know, if those of you absolutely want to use the Fury more often, make the switch now before it's too late. I obviously do not want to make the switch because if I do that, I got to spend fucking 490 gold. And nobody got 490 gold. I mean, I do, but I don't want to spend that. Who the fuck would want to do that? Uh, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with the every 30 seconds kind of thing, right? But uh, for those of you, you know, want to get Fury down as much as possible, obviously it's a it's another another good choice of weapon is uh, to team it up with that Seraph Axe effect, right? So there you go. Hmm. I'm actually kind of wondering here. Let's see. If I had Seraph Axe, that would decrease it by 10%. Hmm. But then again, 10% isn't really that good, because I, well, let's see, they took out all the premiums per stages, and all you need is transformation stones. I have a bunch in my inventory. Hmm, 10% wouldn't actually be a whole lot, though. If I took it to stage 4, maybe, maybe stage 4 would actually be pretty good. I want to see how much I can, hmm. See, I never used I never used the Seraph Axe, so I don't know what the what it would be if I had the Seraph Axe. How much fury? But then again, I would lose all the effects that Baleful gives me. You know. Although all the mats needed for this is actually relatively pretty cheap and farmable treasure pouches. Uh, uh, a lot of mats. Um, you know what, guys? You know what? I got a lot of mats. I got some gold to spare. You know what? Fuck it. You know what? Let's let's make a Seraphax. I'm not gonna switch my Baleful, right? I'm not gonna switch my Baleful. And nobody got time to pay 490 gold. But you know what? I depending on how much mats, I think I think we I could I could give you guys a test drive with the Seraph effect. It may not be stage 10, but I may be able to get it to stage four. I have a couple skins as well. Mm. And they're just kind of sitting there. Not the sealed skins. If they were sealed skins, I'd probably sell them, but... I got a couple skins from Mass. That they're just sitting there. Yeah, you know what, man? There's a chance I may just make the... Uh, I may just make a Seraphax just... <laughs> just to try it out. Just to try out that Fury cooldown. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's fucking make a Seraphax. Let's get this shit. Let me see what mats I need. The next day. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, oh, someone's some stalking. Sorry. NPCs is getting a little bit of chatty. A little bit chatty. There we go over here. Okay, so I think I have enough mats. I just bought the last piece of the puzzle, man. Last piece of the puzzle to this Seraph journey. And, uh, yeah, this is it right here, the Ivory Moon Axe. Um, anyway, uh, if I look over to this stuff right here, hopefully, I think that's blocking away just a little bit. i go ahead and move that to the side. Um, as you can see, it says I have all the mats. I'm pretty sure I, I gathered all the mats, uh, to take the weapon to Stage 4, right? Stage 4 Seraph. So, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get it to Stage 10. That's super fucking expensive. I don't even have my own weapon to Stage 10. Um, but, uh, we're gonna at least be able to get that stage 4 action, which is, uh, pretty worth it. I mean, 10%, I mean, it would've been a lot cheaper if I stuck with the 10%, but man, 10%, like, that's honestly not, that's, that ain't shit. That really isn't. What is it, like, 2, 3 seconds? Oh, man. Um, so the 16% is gonna come in pretty handy, I guess. It, it'll be decent. It'll be good enough, I would say, uh, for, I guess, a good test. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, I think I got. I think I got everything. I even got. Uh, so I, I even saved some of these elements of Hong Moon. Hopefully, these are still pretty good. Weapon reinforcement material, right? Um, yeah. Oh wow, you can use it at any weapon, right? Anyway, so yeah, so I got this. I got my. I got the main ingredient to take it to Seraph, right? You can buy this with uh, refining stones. Got uh, the uh, breakthrough weapons. I had to farm for these, man. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, fucking this shit took forever. Um, I had the. I didn't get the mats. The mats came in pretty fast because of these um, these treasure pouches. I ended up getting. I ended up farming them. As you can see, they give out uh, everything I need to uh, farm up the mats. Now, obviously, I had a couple. I had a bunch of. Uh, a bunch of mats in reserve. These were all chilling in my uh, my inventory, but uh, yeah, I had a bunch of mats in reserve as well uh, to help give me some of the mats over here. But uh, majority of it, or I guess I could say, uh, practically all the Elysian crystals, right, which is the ornaments, came from these uh, treasure pouches. I farmed uh, Yeti, right. You can do Yeti in like five minutes or something like that, and. Um, you can get these uh, these uh, Legion crystals from the treasure pouches. Sometimes he drops two pouches as well, so that kind of helped that a lot. Um, but practically all the ornaments came from Yeti, uh, and then everything else you just saved up over time. You know, uh, moonstones came. A lot of them came from the uh, the treasure pouches, but I did have some in reserve. Um, as you can see, I don't have much moonstone left. Um, but anyway, these I had saved up. I had these in my inventory. I made them a long time ago, uh, as well as these. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much that. Like I said, I had some skins in my inventory as well from Shattered Mass, like a long time ago. They were just sitting in there collecting dust. Um, I couldn't sell them, obviously, because they're not sealed. But that is that. that. And, you know, I pretty much bought these out too. I bought the Frosty, King, Alpine, super cheap on the market. Um, but these I had to farm. These was what these is what took like fucking forever. These two right here, the tormented axes. Oh my god, dude! It was like 30 plus tries at Yeti. Uh, this I got on my second try, my second solo try. I got lucky. This one I got pretty lucky as well. I opened, I bought a twisted weapon box at Grimhorn. Got it on the first try. I was pretty happy about that. And then this one took about six or seven tries of uh, Asura before it dropped for me. So yeah. Um, anyways, enough chit-chat, man. I feel like I'm talking way too much. I apologize. Um, I think we are ready. I think we are fucking ready to take this weapon to Seraph. I'm gonna go over and fly to the sacred spot so we can maybe get some more, uh, gem slots, right? Just a little superstition, I guess. Um, where the fuck is it? Uh, oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go to the sacred spot, and hopefully that'll help us out when we make the Seraph. Maybe we'll get some gem slots, whatever. And yes, I'll see you there in just a sec. Okay, so we are here at the sacred spot. We're gonna see, we're gonna make ourselves. We're gonna turn this, this beautiful, well, well, it's not very beautiful, this piece of shit. <laughs> we're turn this piece of shit ivory moon axe into a beautiful, beautiful stage four seraph axe. So let's go ahead and get to work. Yes, yes, I know, I gotta repair it, shut up. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get right to it, man. Let's get to work. Hopefully, we can get at least four gem slots. I mean, I'll be happy. I mean, we have four chances. Four chances to get more than three than more than three gem slots when we get to the Seraph, uh, Seraph stage. But you know, we're gonna take it to stage four. So hopefully, we get more than that. I'm hoping for at least four. I would like four gem slots. But if we get three, then fuck it, man. It just wasn't meant to be, and it's 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 definitely a okay, man. It is definitely okay. Uh, but yeah, man, cross my fingers. Let's go ahead and get to work. Let's get it. Okay. Oh, look at that. It even tells me uh, the stuff I need for uh, stage five. So that's cool. All right. Let's see. I want to get rid of these first. So go ahead. Do that. Two. There we go. Oh, damn. Look, it's even cheaper. If you're premium, it's not one gold. It's fucking 70 silver. Look at that. Wow, super cheap. All right, let's go ahead and evolve you. Breakthrough, breakthrough. Okay, there we go. Let's keep on going. I'm gonna start to use these guys here. Bam. Two. There we go. Damn, look at that. That really. It looks like yeah, I need a lot of mats for this. Good thing I got. I got pretty much everything. Uh, okay. Hey, went from uh, went to seven gold. All right, here we go. Bam! Awaken Ivory Moon now. We're getting closer. Getting closer, man. Here we go. Oh, damn! Wow! 
That's really not giving a whole lot of experience. I may have to craft some. My uh, craft some elements or transmute, I guess. We'll see. There we go. Stage five, awaken Ivory Moon. Let's keep going. Let's keep on going. Yes. All right. Keep them on going. Oh no, we may have to. Okay, I'm gonna have to bust out some uh, elements. Some uh, elements of weaponry. I don't know. But we'll see how far this will take us. Maybe to stage nine. I don't. I don't know. It's definitely not gonna be max. Fuck that. Look at that. Oh man. Well, oh, looks like we're going to stage nine. Yep. Uh oh. Okay. Never mind. We're a sliver away from stage eight. Fuck you, game. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna have to go make some. Give me just a second. I gotta make some. All right. I got. I just made nine. So hopefully that is enough. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll go ahead and check this out. Oh, maybe not. I don't think it's gonna be enough. My God. I needed to make more. Holy shit. Um, let's see... Okay, now we're entering the true Ivory Moon action. Let's go ahead and get that true Ivory Moon. Wow, it's taking up the mats over here. Oh, well. Um, okay. Over here. Get some of that. Oh, it says it'll make it. It'll make it. Oh, it's definitely gonna make it. Look at this shit. Why was it... Why did I need more mats for stage 5 to 10 on Awaken than stage 1 to... S I, I don't understand. Uh, anyway... Let's keep on going, let's keep on going. Bam! Yes! See if that's gonna be enough. Oh, it's definitely gonna be enough. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, perfect! That was perfect. <laughs> that was absolutely perfect. Okay, alright ladies and gents, here we are. Seraph Stage 1. We're about to get this. 21 gold. Wow, damn. So much cheaper than... Uh, what the basic cost is so uh, yeah 21 gold for this and uh, we're gonna see what we can get we will see what we can get hopefully more than three but I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get three but crossing your fingers let's get this shit BAM Seraph stage one did we get more than three? Oh, we got three like I said we would <laughs> okay Three slots. Now let's see if we can get any more gem slots uh, when we get to stage four. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can get, right? All right, here we go. 11 gold per stage, I guess. Bam! Got more slots? Oh, holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit! I was not expecting that. That was... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck stage two that's all it took that is probably the luckiest stage upgrade I have ever got dude I didn't even get six slots until stage six on my weapon what the fuck dude what the hell holy shit <laughs> I got all six already that is lit holy shit that's awesome Oh my god, wow. Okay, well, I guess, um, I guess being at the sacred place worked. Nah, I'm just, nah, fuck that. <laughs> it was just RNG, I got lucky. Okay, let's just finish up here. Let's finish up here. <laughs> and the final stage right here, stage four, from that 10 to 16% fury cooldown reduction. <laughs> BAM! And there we go! There we go, ladies and gents. Stage 4 Seraph Axe. It has been made. You witnessed it here today. It has been made. Wow, that, uh, that gem slots, though. Them gem slots, though. What the fuck? And you guys got to see it, too, live. Live on camera. You guys got to see that shit. That's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool. Hmm. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so. It didn't use any of these tabs. It actually took it out from the, my mats up here. Hmm. I thought it would take it out from up, down there. Oh well. Okay, so. I just go ahead and uh, put these back where they belong. Right? Um. 
those down there and there okay let me just put these away okay all right there we go ladies and gents so Seraphax stage four okay 392 AP got all six slots what were we gonna do how are we gonna test this you may ask let's go back let's go do another test run at the Mushin tower I'm gonna see how much um, how much lower I can get the cooldown with the 16% added to that 30 seconds and uh, we're gonna see what we can do here so let's head over to Mushin tower Oh my god, get me out of here. Freaking gold, gold buyer whispers. Get me the fuck out of here, he's whispering me. I need an adult. He's, a, he's, he's harassing me. This gold, this fucking gold bot. Yeah. Run away. Run away. Okay. Actually, no, I'm gonna block that guy. You are a gold spammer. There we go. Block them. Okay, so as you saw in the beginning of the video, we got 30 seconds off of that. Um, let's go ahead and see what it's like with the um, the uh, the Seraph Axe. Okay, um, let's let's give it some gems. So let's, let's unsocket everything here and uh, throw the Seraph Axe. Damn! Wow, that's wow, that's different. That's a different look. Look at that. Wow, it looks gold. Wow, well from the lighting it does. Pretty cool. Okay. I'll do some of that. Mm -hmm. I lose a bit of AP because it's only stage four. I'm down to 872 instead of 893. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm above 850, I'm fine. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can get here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same rotation that I usually do, and we're gonna see how far or what the, uh, the cooldown on Fury is. So let's go ahead and get it. And smash. Holy shit. Did you see that? What was that? 22, 23 seconds? God damn. And it's up in it's it's up in 10 more seconds. Holy shit. Dude, that is amazing. My god, that is amazing. That is something else, man. If it was 22, 23 seconds, then that means we just, we just decreased Fury by 50%. Fury just got decreased by 50%. Holy shit. When Smash is up again, we're going to try that again just to make sure. Maybe it's, I want to say it's 23 seconds. I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments if you can see it. Um, I'll probably zoom in on it, but let's try that again. Holy shit. Yep, that's about 22, 23 seconds. My god. So it's official, guys. It is official. I have reduced the cooldown of Fury by 50% with just with these two badges right here. Obviously, if I had stage 10, if I had stage 10 and, it was, and it's decreased by a, a 30% instead of 16, then obviously it would be a lot lower than 22 seconds. I would say maybe... 15, 16, you know, 15 to 17 seconds if it was a stage 10, I don't know, but either way, that is still a huge reduction to our Fury cooldown, man, that is an absolute huge reduction to our Fury cooldown, that is fucking amazing, you know, we're gonna go and find ourselves a test subject, we're gonna find ourselves a test subject, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see how many Furies we can pull off, we're gonna have a comparison, okay, a comparison between the Baleful and the Seraph with these two uh, badges right here, man. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves a test subject. We're going to see how many Furies, how many Furies can we use in one battle, okay? So let's go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching today's video guys, it really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you're all are having a very easy day. 
And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!